Welcome to day six of seven days of prayer for Chile. This is Evangelist Zach Linton. If you're just joining, welcome. If you're not familiar with the mission, the entire backstory and overview is in a link in the description in the video. As we've been praying into this mission, uh, and every day has had a unique theme, I'm actually on the grounds of my former high school. I went to high school at Miramani in Orinda, California over 20 years ago, and I'm standing in, this, in the main quad right now. And the reason I'm doing this is that today's prayer topic is for the youth. Specifically, we're praying for the youth of Chile today. And I wanted to read a theme scripture out of Matthew 13 and verse 33. And Jesus told them another parable and said, The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and mixed into a large batch of dough until it was all leavened. Elsewhere in Matthew 16 and verse 6, Jesus says this, he says, Be careful, Jesus said to them, be on your guard against the yeast or the leaven of the Pharisees and the the Sadducees. He also throws in there in different points in the gospel, beware of the, the leaven of Herod. And here we are at the high school and this is where the leaven of the world is being infused and injected into the hearts and the minds of young people, particularly in their teenage years. Now as I was preparing for this crusade in Chile, the Lord specifically spoke to me about having a youth only crusade one of the events that we're going to do is strictly for young people and the age category is like age 24 and under specifically we're doing a youth event saturday morning saturday early afternoon actually and so i want to pray right now join with me for these next few minutes in lifting up the youth of chile we can even extend it to the youth here of america of northern california of the world but specifically the youth of the nation of chile Let's pray together now. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before your throne of grace. Lord, as I'm getting ready to leave on a plane tomorrow for the nation of Chile, Lord, and you've laid a burden upon my spirit for the young. Lord, of course, you've come to save everybody, young and old, rich and poor, male and female, from every walk of life. But Father, you have spoken a word to my spirit that you want to do something particularly among the youth in this region in San Fernando. And so Father, I pray right now for the leaven of the kingdom to infuse itself into these young people's lives, Father, that when they hear the gospel, whether it's through the youth crusade or whether it's through us being in the school systems, that the gospel would get in them and it would multiply, it would grow, it would not leave their hearts alone. Lord, all the hopelessness, the emptiness, the lies of secularism, the lies of the demonic realm that Satan has tried to deceive a generation with through the school systems, we come against those lies in Jesus' name. And we pray for truth to prevail, Father, in the hearts and the minds of these young people. Lord, I pray for future pastors, Lord, future prophets, future business leaders, future uh, congressmen and women, that will be raised up, Lord, even from this mission, that they will point it back to that time in the school system and that day at the youth crusade that Jesus Christ was presented and Jesus Christ became real to them and walked into their heart, walked into the, to the doors of their soul. Father, I just pray in the holy name of Jesus for a massive harvest among young people, hundreds, thousands of young people to be saved during this mission. And Lord, I just pray that you will give us as your people a heart for this generation, Lord, that we will shepherd them, we will love them well, not just seeing them become converts, but seeing them become true disciples of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you 
that Lord, you have used young people throughout time and history. Lord, you used a young David. God, you used a young Mary to be the carrier of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the flesh. Thank you, Father, that it is you working in us and through us, that your word says that if you don't become like a little child, that you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Lord, I pray for all of us as adults that we would take something from these young people, Lord, their passion, their fire, their unreservedness, that childlike simplicity and faith, and that we would not lose that as we get older, oh God. Lord, we lift up the nation of Chile and everything that you are going to do on this mission. We pray it will be powerful, it will be effectual, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Thanks for tuning in to day six. We've got one more day tomorrow. I'm getting ready to leave for Santiago, Chile, and then heading down to San Fernando. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications if you want to follow what I'm doing as a minister of the gospel. If you want to get our updates from what's going to happen in Chile and beyond. And do me a small favor. If you joined me in prayer, leave me a comment. Let me know you're praying for me. You're praying for these young people in the nation of Chile. This is Zach Linton. God bless you. See you next week.